your host, Gabriel Iglesias. We just got engaged. I'm sorry, Mika. He loves me more. This is cool. See, this is random stuff you would never see on regular, uh, the, you know, TV. Usually the guy would already be on stage. Security would have tackled you. <laughs> You'd be outside in the parking lot. But no, man, this is cool. What's your name, bro? Yogi. Yo. <laughs> Yogi. I'll leave it at that. We both like picnic baskets. All right, man. Well, Yogi, we're going to have a good time. Thank you for the good hug. Can I hug your lady? Yeah, Hi, how are you? Good. I'm being good. I'm just being equal opportunity right here. Thank you, too. We are going to have a great show tonight, you guys. This is week number two of Stand Up Revolution, season three. And before I say anything else, you guys, how about a big hand for my friend, the man, the myth, the legend, Mr. Marty Moreno. Hell yeah, that's Freddie Fender's illegitimate love child right there, you guys. And of course, three-time Grammy Award winners, Ozo Male. So yeah, you know, good hug, Yogi. <laughs> yeah, look at, look at, look at, look at, look at. <laughs> okay, she's like, the air conditioning is really good in there. <laughs> it's really good. You can tell it's not summer. Yeah, all right. <laughs> so again, week number two, bro. Week two, bro. Good week to number two. That's awesome. right. Hey, hey. And still, no sign of Will Dog. He's still in Aruba. What do you think they're doing, Martin? They're not having sex. <laughs> yeah, after two weeks, man. Yeah, no, they're married now, bro. They're not oh, yeah, after that's two it, weeks. man. That's a cabo. It's over. Yeah, 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 they're done. <laughs> yeah, they're probably doing activities now, huh? Yeah. yeah. All the things married people do, they're probably snorkeling. Snorkeling, shopping. To walking. ride in the little canoes and yeah, the right? paddle the boards, bicycles you know. and stuff like that. How long were they together before they got married? I want to say like, uh, what, four or five years before they were? Four or five? Oh, they haven't been having sex for a long time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this, oh, this isn't new. This was no, like, okay, well. Yeah, no wonder they got married. <laughs> what a hater, bro. <laughs> oh, I'm a hater. <laughs> no, I'm just saying. I'm just... <laughs> oh, my God. Hey, seriously, Martin. Okay, let's say five years. Let's say 10 years, 15 years. What can people do? Since uh, you're, you're quite the aficionado here. What can people do to spice up their life? Toys. Sir, hey, come on. You can only go so far with what you got. Hey, Yogi, when, it, Yogi, when he says toys, he doesn't mean like Transformers. He means like, <laughs> it means like bringing stuff to the room. Your relationship looks fairly fresh. It looks like you guys just got together. You're still touching each other, which is really cool. But not, everybody's, not, not everybody can handle toys. No, no, no. Not everybody, everybody, not everybody's ready for toys. No, but, no, 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 but, no, no. But if you are, you know, it doesn't hurt to go to the shop. Like, you took me to the sex shop the other day. No, 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 hey, 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 hey. That is not right. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Look at everybody's all mad now, like, Fluffy, say it ain't so. <laughs> Tell me you're not a sucio like Martin. <laughs> Tell me you're not dirty like him. Let me tell you guys what happened, okay? I did not take him to a sex shop, okay? The sex shop just happened to be in the same parking lot as this restaurant we went to go eat at, okay? Here's what happened. We went to go eat at this place. It was amazing. We walk outside, and um, I'm stuffed, Martin's stuffed, and he goes, hey, look what's next door. I go, oh, yeah, big deal, dude. You know, it's this place in Dallas, Texas called Condom Sense, which is an amazing, catchy name for a, you know, a place like that. You know what I mean? <laughs> And uh, he goes, let's go check it out. I go, dude, uh, I'm, I'm good, bro. And he goes, man, it's freaking hot. And I go, well, let's get in the car. And the car wouldn't start. And we're freaking burning up. So I'm like, I bet you anything there's good AC in that, you know, in that shop. <laughs> let's go over there. And I get closer and I start getting recognized in the window. I'm like, I'm not going in there. Martin goes, come on, go with me. I'm like, oh, great. So we walk inside. And as soon as we walked into this shop, that freaking little sensor at the door, you know, you know in my head, I hear, pervert. <laughs> Yogi, I wasn't feeling it. I was like, ah, oh, you know what? I don't need anybody taking pictures of me in this type of place. So I tell Martin, hey, bro, I'm out. I'll be outside. And he goes, come on, bro, go with me. I said, dude, man, nah, this is not cool. <laughs> and then this guy leans over the counter, and he sees Martin and I standing there. And he goes, get in here, you two. Get in here. <laughs> it's a party, couples only. And I'm like, oh, my God, Martin, he thinks we're gay. I said, I'm going outside, and then Martin yells at me, go with me! And I'm like, great, he's yelling at me. That makes me the bitch. 
Now I'm stuck. Now I'm stuck with this fool. We walk into this shop, and I'm not about to start walking up to the, you know, the stuff that's in there next to him so that he can look at it and have the guy think, oh, that's what he's going to use on the big guy. You know what I mean? Hell no. So I'm like, Martin, go do your thing. And I just went to go find some neutral corner to just hang out in. And it, Martin's funny, by the way. Bro, when you're looking at toys, he kills me. He doesn't just look at it and go, yeah, I want that. He actually takes the time to grab something, turn it around, take off his glasses and read what it does, like medication. Over 40, he reads it now. Oh, this one only takes two batteries, right? <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm in this other part of the store where they sell these, uh, I don't even want to call them toys. They're more like tools, Yogi. Like straight up like devices, you know? I saw some stuff in this store, you guys, that I'm like, why would anyone physically try to do that to themselves, you know? Like one thing I saw was from the floor about this high. And I'm like, why? Who could handle something like that? It didn't even have batteries. It didn't have a cord for the wall. This sucker had a, a string on the side. One of those, you know? Ladies, we don't have that. We don't have that. We can't go to the house tonight. Babe, you ready? You ready? Hold on. Here we go. Hold on. You can't get it started. You got to call a friend to come jump you. You guys will be right back with more Stand Up Revolution. Welcome back to Stand Up Revolution, you guys. Coming to you from Ontario, California. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it gives me great pleasure to bring to you all the way from the Bronx, New York. Give it up and make some noise for Mark Fiera. What's going on? How are we doing, everybody? We're good? I always ask where the beautiful ladies, where the beautiful women out here. I heard Ontario, what happened? <laughs> Look at the men, the men are like, clap, clap. I waited for you to get ready, clap your damn hands. That's the worst. I know you ladies, I do. I have one of these things in my house. Married gonna be 18 years, 18 years. Don't clap, don't, don't clap. You don't know what I'm going through. Don't clap. My wife does that. Same thing. Makes me wait on purpose. Women, you know, you can get ready in 10 minutes. You just don't. Look at they know. They just, there's production value to a woman. Are you kidding me? Women are not happy until you are not in the living room like this. Oh my God. Can you hurry up? I'm going to kill myself. This is the worst, when your woman comes out almost ready. <laughs> I, some, some of you never seen your woman almost ready. When she got the, the spanks, all right, hold on, let me go back. <laughs> you ever see your woman come out of the room in spanks? And it's, see, some men don't even know. You don't know what spanks are. Let me explain to you what the spanks, the spanks are Under Armour suit. <laughs> women and it takes about 30 minutes to get in the suit oh we don't go on easy you gotta see a woman fight to get this thing on and it always gets stuck right there right on oh right right underneath the ass cheeks right there and she gotta dance it in <laughs> she, she can't breathe in this thing she walks like they look when they put those spanks on, everything for the whole night is in its rightful place. <laughs> for the whole night, you are looking at your old woman like you've never seen her before, like, damn! You are looking good. She walking around like, that's right, baby. <laughs> oh my God, her breasts are up here. Stomach is flat ass like this, bow. She got, oh. 
can't test my woman. Look at that. Oh, those spanks look beautiful until you get home. <laughs> oh, believe me, I peeked in my room while my wife is taking the spanks off. It is a because everything's been up here all night. And she starts taking them spanks off, she take the hood off. And them breasts that been up here all night. She take it on. Like and when she gets it right here, she's like that. That's the first. That's the first breath she took the whole night, right there. Men are dirty, right? Men are dirty. Men don't care how low the breasts get. We still want it. Hold on, don't put it away. Let me grab it. Let me grab it. Hey, I'm Mark Vieira, y'all. Thank you so much. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, Mark Vieira. Thank you. We'll be right back with more Static Revolution. Revolution. My name is Gabriel Iglesias, the artist who almost fell off the stage. So, <laughs> that would have sucked. <laughs> the whole front row. This is like IMAX. Are you guys ready for more show? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, all the way from Chicago, put your hands together to show you love for Barry Brewer. I fly a lot, man. Flying a lot. You see a lot of things. I don't like flying coach. I hate that. Anybody else? Or oh, somebody say, oh, you first class all the time. Okay. <laughs> Boozy. First class all the way. I don't, like flying I, I don't like flying when I can't fly first class because when I walk past first class, they always make me feel like I'm poor. Anybody ever fly and walk past first class? They all seated and got their drink, their little wine. They look at you like you're a peasant. You ever see that? They're like, look at the peasant. <laughs> And you feel like a peasant because you've been waiting in the jet bridge to get on the plane in the line. And you've been, excuse me, I'm just trying to get the coach. Don't want to bother nobody. No, I ain't trying to bother nobody. I'm just trying to get the coach. I'm trying to get to what I'm trying to get to, brother. I ain't trying to bother nobody. Excuse me, sir. How you doing? Your wine looks nice and lovely. Yeah. It's the worst, man. One time I got stuck. You know, if you ever fly, you get sometimes stuck in line when you're getting on a plane and people putting their luggage in the overhead bins and you get stuck. So you're standing in first class. I'm standing in first class and the lady clinched her purse. Like, I'm going to take it. We, I'm, I'm getting on the same plane as you. Like, well, I'm going to take your purse and go, go, go to my seat. Like, give me, give me your purse. Give it to me. Would y'all hurry up back there? Lady, stop looking at me. Stop looking at me. I'll give your purse back later. I'm gonna see what's in it first. Stupid. The first, and the first class stewardess, they don't make you feel no they don't make you feel better. Cause they, you know, if you're sitting in coach, they don't just shut the sheet. You know the sheet that separates you from first class, let you know you don't got no money in your life, sir. <laughs> you know the sheet, they don't just shut it. They look in coach, they y'all coach. There's a lot of coach right here. <laughs> They let you know you don't belong on this side of the plane. They like, <laughs> just shut the sheep. Like, I want to come up there. I'm going to get my money right. I'm going to be up there. I'm going to get my money right. Cool. Ride Southwest. Anybody ride Southwest? Fly? Anyway, no. Y'all like Southwest? I don't like Southwest. It's like riding the public transportation in the sky. Like on normal planes, you get a seat assignment. It's your name, your seat. Specifically, 34B, Barry Brewer, that's my seat. Can't nobody sit there because it's my seat. I got a paper show. It's my seat. Southwest, not like that. C whatever seat you get, that's your seat. One time I got up to go to the bathroom, come back, somebody in my seat. I said, hey, man, it's my seat. He like, prove it. I'm like. Where was you sitting at? My man said he was standing up in the back. They had a pole. 
I'm like, when they start having poles on planes, I'm back on, on the plane holding on. When they say buckle up, you got to put two hands up. <laughs> hey, y'all, I'm Barry Brewer. Thank you so much. Ladies and gentlemen, Barry Brewer. We'll be right back with more Static Revolution. Hey, Fluffy, do the folks at home know how long you've been carrying this trifler, Martin? <laughs> no, they don't. Let's watch, shall we? Hey, Martin, stop. Oh, what is it, Dad? <sighs> Martin, I came to this country so you could have a good life, but you've become a bad person. You hang out with other bad children and drink. What are you talking about? Look at Gabriel. He's my best friend. Hi, Mr. Hernandez. He doesn't drink. He doesn't party. He doesn't go with girls. He doesn't do anything cool ever. He's just a gigantic nerd. Is this true, Gabriel? Are you as boring as my son promises me you are? Sure. Go in peace, Martin. I should not have doubted you. That was not cool, Martin. Dude, I'm sorry. I just needed to get him off my case. He's got this bug up his ass. He thinks I'm ditching school and drinking all the time. I'm sorry to be so sensitive, Martin. It must be rough to have your dad not trust you like that. It is. Later. Don't drink the punch! Somebody poured pills in it! I don't feel so good. You're so hot, Martine. I know, right? Martine! Mm. Martine! Huh? You almost got yourself killed, bro. Come on, you gotta stop trying to be cool and wise up. Dude, you're right. I'm not covering for you anymore. You're a good friend, Fluffy. I'm gonna change my ways. Hey, Martine. We're in the mood to do something crazy. And wild. Nice. Let's steal my dad's car and go to Mexico. That's a really cool idea. Later, Fluffy. This is so cool. And wild. And sexy. Oh shoot. I'm going back. We need water in the engine. Fluffy, Martine's coming back. And his car's full of weed. Destroy son. Dad, no, I can explain. Must find something to beat son. Save me, Fluffy! You gotta say that I'm cooler than you in front of all your friends. Fine! Fluffy here is cooler than me! Well, if Fluffy's cooler than you, then you're not cool at all. Later. Ah! Mr. Hernandez, I know you're looking forward to brutally disciplining your son. I am. I know that, but before you do, how would you like to... have a little something to settle your nerves first? That's a good idea. You're a good little boy, Gabrielito. Come to Papa. I love you, Dad. I love you too, Martin. Let's all go have some pie. I don't know what the moral of any of this is. Neither do I, Fluffy. Neither do I. Maybe that's the moral. That sometimes you stick up for your friends even if there is no moral. Nah, that's not it. Pure foolishness. Dumb girl. Dude, that dog's a liar. I don't think so, you guys. That dog is telling the truth, and that's our show. Thank you so much. Hey, Standard Revolution, we'll see you next week.